Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for June 21st, 2017. The summer solstice arrived at 12.24 a.m. this morning, and today will be the first day of summer. We'll have a very typical uh, summer like day for the first for the first day of summer, meaning averages will be pretty close to what was expected for this time of year. Uh, still lower humidity though, but we'll have an opportunity for a passing shower this afternoon, expecting to be partly cloudy and dry in most areas, but we'll have the opportunity for a stray shower uh, to work its way through. You can see that here, just these light like grays, they just pop up uh, instability type showers that will uh, may affect parts of the area with a quick shower. This is not a big deal. Uh, most of the day, again, is rain-free. So we're going to allow for a 20% chance of a shower, maybe even a thunderstorm. I wouldn't uh, rule that out either. Uh, going further from this point, we get to Thursday. We have a warm front that's going to be situated off to our north. I think it remains there. Uh, because this warm front's off to the north, we're going to have a uh, have the influence of a Bermuda high starting to form out here, and that's going to get these temperatures up. So the humidity is going to come back as well on Thursday. Uh, not full force. I think that's going to be on Friday, which, which is going to be your hottest day. But here's Thursday. Uh, again, uh, not looking any precipitation for the day, just a partly cloudy day, but we're going to have those uh, humidity levels increasing and the temperatures uh, going up as well. So we'll have, uh, instead of uh, low to mid 80s, you're talking about mid to upper 80s on Thursday, and then we're going to be uh, approaching 90 degrees down here uh, in the Philadelphia metro, it looks like, down here on Friday. So uh, we're going to move ahead now to Friday and show you that. We got uh, a cold front moving in from the west in your picture here. Uh, in the southwestern part of the picture, this is the remnants of Cindy. I'm going to get into that in a second. Where that was a uh, recently named tropical storm that would, that came to life on uh, that went from Invest 93L and became Cindy officially on Tuesday. Uh, but we do think that is going to remain well south of the region, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, here's the cold front with the showers and thunderstorms. Might be some enhancement uh, away from area further to the southwest in association with Cindy, but. Uh, we do think that this is going to be picked up by this cold front and uh, sent eastward. We are going to be dealing with shower, scattered showers and thunderstorms on Friday afternoon and evening, it looks like, uh, with that uh, uh, cold front making its way through. I don't think, though, that this this is going to translate into the weekend. The cold front is going to come through very late Saturday, Friday night. Here's your cold front here at this point. See, it's pushing off to the south. Here is Cindy right here. Cindy is going to be picked up by this trough, and it cannot go through this trough, so it's going to head out in this direction like this and miss to the south, we think. Uh, and uh, we'll actually get over that image right now just to show you what, what we're looking at in a broader image. This is Cindy, uh, recently named. I'm going to move this forward and just follow along where this is going to go. And you see it's heading toward, uh, looks like the uh, near the... Texas and Louisiana border, actually the, uh, uh, the this model in particular makes landfall down here in uh, eastern Texas. So uh, by having this further west track that instead of having what the GFS showed a few days earlier further east, it allows time for this trough, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, to catch this. So by the time we get to Friday morning, I'm going to move this ahead real quick to Friday morning to see what's going on here. Here is Cindy at this point. Okay. Uh, at the same time, we have this uh, we have this cold front that's approaching our area that's going to give us scattered showers and thunderstorms later on Friday. This is going to pick up Cindy and force it instead of coming northeast. If it was further east, if it came up here like this, that it could it could outrace this front and give us some rainfall. But that's not going to happen, we think, because this is still, this is moving further west. By moving fur further west, it has implications downstream that this trough is now able to pick it up. And oh, not not like that, but the trough's going to pick it up. You get the idea. The trough's going to pick it up and set it out in this direction like this and away from the region. Uh, so we will not have the remnant impacts from the rain, we don't think, this weekend. So here's the uh, front going through. And now I'm going to get back to right where the point where we just were. And you can see Cindy uh, down here that's going to remain off to the south. So you can sit here and follow this as we get in a little zoomed in here and just show you what we're doing here. Going a little bit forward from this point, you can see Cindy just moving off the Carolinas. Won't be a good weekend down for that area. Uh, over the weekend. But here's a look at Saturday. We're high and dry. Here's a look at Sunday. We are also high and dry. And there's the remnants of Cindy, Cindy just heading off aimlessly to the east. Again, it will affect the Tennessee Valley and areas over to uh, the Carolinas with that remnant of rainfall. But I think our area is largely high and dry, even at the shore points. And I was concerned about down there if we're going to get something out of that. I do think it remains far enough south that maybe you might get some impacts very briefly uh, or along Ocean City. Uh, so we'll watch that closely, and that would be on Sunday, but we'll watch that closely to see if anything develops from that. Uh, beyond this point, back to the regular scheduled programming. We have a 
uh, another wake, uh, wave of low pressure that could bring some showers, scattered showers in the morning for our eastern areas. Just the morning, though, on, for, on Monday, it looks like the afternoon becomes partly cloudy and then uh, remaining partly cloudy here on Tuesday. We're going to have high pressure building in off to our southwest. It's going to have a northwest flow with it and give us some cooler temperatures as we head into next week as that trough settles in. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchich. That is your outlook for June 21st, 2017. Have a great Wednesday.